Hello, and welcome to the ninth episode of this fucking show. God damn it. Um, when are we gonna stop? Anyway, uh... Yeah, I have two, uh, two, two guests, as usual, on here. We have, uh, my, my beautiful, very attractive co-host, Badger. Say hello. Oh, hi. Huh. And we, we have, uh, King of the Furries, uh, Ip Quarks. Hey! Yeah, that, that, that's him. <laughs> uh, so, Badger and I have questions, oh shit, that we're gonna ask you today. Oh boy! There are six of them in total. So, if you want to answer those, that'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, all right. So, <laughs> Badger, do you do you want to ask the first one? Oh okay. me? Yeah, yeah, man. You get the honor. I, I have the special honors. Yeah, you do. Man, this is special. You sexy special. master, you. Ooh. How did you get to? Sh- oh. How did you get to start? <laughs> Spit it out. Sorry, I'm it's trying sorry. to move some stuff on my desk right now. It's fine. Get it out of the way. How did you get to get a badger? Oh, it's because this. Okay. <laughs> How did you get to start coding? What inspired okay, you to start well, coding? Well, uh, I actually got my my starting coding with the uh, block lines. Uh, I was. Uh, you know, like I, when I started out with Blockman, you know, I was just jumping from server to server, and it's, and you know, like I got to know some people, and I got got my start in like administrating the servers and stuff, and uh, I believe my first start with coding was on a server called Yorktown ninety five City RP, and uh, he needed some stuff coded, and I. And I kind of wanted to, like, impress the other admins and, like, show that I wasn't just some kid, even though I totally was. And I, I tried to start encoding stuff, and I just started copying and pasting stuff an and all that stuff. He's doing an interview. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, after that, it, I, uh, got pretty good at coding. Sorry, my, my parents were calling downstairs, if you could hear my voice in the background. Um, I have it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, that's that's pretty cool. I think I've heard of Yorktown's server before, and uh, I haven't been on it personally. But uh, and you said it was a city RPG, so you said? Uh, yeah, yeah, mostly. It was it was a it was a pretty good one, I think. Yeah, th- those are usually pretty fun, but I I find them to be very tedious to progress in. But you know, all, yeah, I, it's I all... was a kid, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, th- th- I guess that's just how it goes. Uh, did yeah. you ever go on uh, iBands by any chance? Back oh, when he was I did. Around? Yeah, I I. I... Funny story, I even got into uh, the beta version of I- Iban, of what was going to be Iban's new city RPG. Oh, that's sweet. And it and it was pretty cool, except the city was like only like 128 studs wide. It was an absolutely tiny ass t- town, and it was just ridiculously small. Huh. And it was no fun at all because it was so tiny. Wait, so it had no room for expansion? Basically or... none, no. Wow, that's all stupid. Walled that's, off that with just sounds like a, a circle with a police station and a jail, and then a park to shoot people in. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, that's basically what it is anyway. Yeah, exactly. in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like criminals going around and just killing the shit out of people, basically. Yeah, that, that's what I hate about city RPGs. It just goes into a DM, and it, yeah. that's just not the point, you know? It's like, oh no, I have a bounty. Oh no, I'm a gang leader. Like, just, <laughs> just like, do what it's made for instead of just causing shit all the time. I'll notice some yeah. players they'll play in a group as like a joke, and yeah. they'll actually like start something serious as a joke. But then it's sort of like they just kind of start going around killing people and then holding <laughs> up somewhere, and the cops yeah. keep trying to break into their like mile high fortress. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, I remember several times when I'd had to, like, abuse corner jumping to, to try and get into some bases and risking guys. I, I've never been yeah. for the criminal style. I always like the resting them. It's more fun. Didn't, uh, didn't Plorent, Plorent at one point, he, like, uh, hacked or something. I, I that's a bad word to oh, use. Hacks. But, like, he just, like, increased his, um, his woodcutting speed or whatever. I, I don't know. So oh. I saw a drama about it a while ago. 
Weird. I, I don't. I don't remember that. Maybe he was using like a bot or something. Yeah, probably. I. I, don't, I think it was Plorn. I, I don't know. I don't uh, remember who it was. Some fire painting. I know one guy who actually made a bot in C plus plus. That was pretty ridiculous. Huh. I don't think he even got banned for it though. All right. Uh, next question. Is that good? Yeah. Sure. All right. So, uh, if Quarks, what turned you on to Blockland? If you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh boy, well, uh, uh, basically, like, a, a long, long time ago, uh, you know, I was, I was kind of addicted to the computer, and I gotta say, I, I still mostly am addicted to the computer. Um, uh, I was looking for new games to play, because I had gotten sick and tired of Roblox, and I know how cliche that sounds, but it's absolutely true, it was terrible. Dude, I played it in my early days, too. <laughs> That yeah. seems to be a big thing. People are like Roblox, and they just seem to find Blockland somehow, and they just I know. To that. I, I was I was looking on uh I was googling like games, free games and stuff, and I was seeing all these different advertisements for games, and I just saw this one advertisement with an incredibly generic and boring looking picture, but it was just like blocks and stuff, and I was it's like, hey, that looks cool. I don't know yeah. why I thought it was cool. I but think I, I was gonna it. buy membership for. Uh, Roblox, and my brother's yeah. like, there's gotta be something better, and he found Blockland. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's Blockland. cool. It's pretty yeah, awesome. that's how I found Blockland. I, I remember 6,000 hours of my life I'll never reclaim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I remember exactly what happened for me to find this game. I think yeah. it was like, uh, I, I was done playing Bro Block... God damn it. Bro you Roblox. <laughs> I was done playing Roblox as well, and, um... <laughs> I, I remember just being like, oh, are there any other cool block building games I can, you know, I, I, I went on Google and I searched block building games. Yeah. And uh, Blockland was the first thing that came up and I'm like, mom, give me money. And then she paid for it. <laughs> and then I didn't, um, I didn't pay it. Like I, I bought the game and I had a low key, it was, well, not really that low, 18947, but like uh, I didn't play it for eight months and then I started playing it again. So I've been here ever since. Oh, man. Yeah, I remember, like, begging my parents to get it for me, because I was like, oh, my God, this looks amazing. And, oh, boy. Well, I remember so the demo cool. just, like, creeping me out for some reason. Like... Creeping you out? What? I don't know what it was about <laughs> it. It was, like, the shape of the characters, and there was no chat there. There was no interaction with anyone else. It was just yeah. building. and Void. Yeah, it was just void. Yeah. I was in the bedroom, and I'm like... Where, where's this place is so empty yeah like does anyone live here like there's and it just i remember being freaked out by it and eventually i i, I bought it and it was cooler so you know yeah yeah my my first build oh. was on the slopes i think i made a tiny tower on top of the oh bank. man the slopes were amazing i remember uh building a dm on the slopes and it was just like a bunch of big red platforms with the default window on them <laughs> but you just like jump up and shoot rockets at each other it was sweet it was oh, awesome cool. so you know <laughs> it was one of those i things. remember all the ski courses they made oh man i, I love and all the the ski village rp <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i was around for those oh but that was yeah well it wasn't it wasn't like specifically ski village but there's a lot of family rps like just on the slopes Oh, so there were family RPs back then, too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Family RPs were, like... They, they were like there forever, archaic. pretty much. Okay. <laughs> I think the very first server that I ever joined was a family RP, and they banned me for having a 9k ID. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes to show how old this game is now. <laughs> I know, right? I feel so old. Yeah. <laughs> now with, like, almost 200,000 IDs. Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the next question because I feel like I can ask it in the best way. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, so, if quarks, yes. why, why the fuck are you a furry? That's, oh boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm not proud of being a furry. I'll be honest. There's really? Is no is any furry? furry? I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I, I know one guy who's like super, super, absolutely, like, totally furry pride and shit like that. Okay. And, uh, that guy is, uh, the guy actually, actually got me, he originally got me into it. Uh, he's, I don't know if you know him, but his name on Blockland was Rikuta. 
He, yeah, I know oh, him. Um, I know him, yeah. I'm currently talking to him. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. hey, man, I gotta go do something. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you work on the like, NARG thread? The well, he, he worked on the NARG add-ons thread with uh, Nexus. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, man, he really got me into it, because I was on his server one day, and I was like, I was going all to all these servers, and I had, like, a bunch of private mods that people had given me, and I was like, dude, I'm gonna trade admin for private mods everywhere. And I eventually managed to talk him into giving me admin for some private mods and stuff. I, mean, was, I was the worst admin ever, but he still let me off for some reason. Private <laughs> add-ons, if you know yeah. what I mean. I know, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Send you those, uh, sending you those satin minions prints, you know <laughs> what I mean? Do you remember oh. when Zealot, like, uh, posted those? McZealot? Or was that was that Zealot, or was that, like, Lord I, Tony I or something? Know. Cause I, I remember, like, uh, he posted an add-on in, uh, in Dick Owls and Faces and Prints, and it was, like, images from Satin Minions. Oh, <laughs> like, boy. And it was, like, out there, and everybody's like, what are you doing? And I picked it up <laughs> right before it was, it went away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't, I don't think I still have it, but I was, I was, ha I was proud of myself. For <laughs> having this add-on. <laughs> oh, boy. And like I, I watched the interview that you had with Now, and I gotta say his description is pretty damn accurate. You just get into it. You don't know why you're doing it. You just keep clicking and clicking, and eventually, first you just sort of blends into your body, and you become <laughs> furry. <laughs> That's like the best description I've ever heard. This Sounds like some kind just... of horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, have, have you guys ever been to Five Guys and you know how they have those little, uh, like, papers you can draw on? Oh, boy, I'm a Canadian. I, we don't have those. We have those here. Five I've guys just never Canada. been to one. Oh, the Five I'm Guys Canadian too. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I didn't know that. in Ontario, yeah, because, but. Oh, well, I'm, I'm they not. They have, like, these little papers on the wall that you can draw on and you pin them. There's so many, because it's, like, Five Guys or whatever, and it's a restaurant. Yeah. There's cool. so many cool. Five Nights at Freddy's references, and it's just like, uh -huh. stop. Five guys at, in one cup. <laughs> yeah, oh <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, I shouldn't have gone there. Alright, uh, do you, do you want to take the next question? Or... <sighs> Me? Yes. <laughs> Your avatar is toothless. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> I'm a... It has no punk punctuation, so I had to add some of my own spice to it. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm a huge uh, How to Train Your Dragon fanboy, you could say. Uh, I even have a website, and it's just plastered with the stuff. I don't know why. Did you even uh... read the books? Oh, come on. <laughs> as, a, the books? as a fan, the books are nothing like the movies. Excuse me. Uh, I, I, I just think Toothless is, is like a really, really cute character. I think it's it's, it's a really nice uh, character in general, and he's just cute and stuff, so... But the the books are always better than the movie. <laughs> yeah. You know, just like, uh, <laughs> the books are with like the, the Harry movies. Potters and, and, and the... the uh, I, fuck, I don't remember anything else. <laughs> <laughs> in, the book, in the book, Toothless is like a fucking six-inch dragon, that's it. Yeah, he's the most common, and that's the funny thing, because they trick his father into thinking he's the most rare. Wow. Because he has no teeth. Ah, and those rascals. Teeth. And in the movie, he actually is the rarest. He's the <laughs> only one. Forever alone, JPEG. But crossbreeding. Oh, well, boy. <laughs> None of or, that. Or, and or cloning. I, I, I can hear the rule 34 from a mile away. <laughs> I can I can hear the uh, the West Virginians calling my name. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Uh, any more discussion on that? Or uh, I, I think that's enough. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so our next question actually comes from uh, Acorn Cake on the forums because we, we we asked uh, what should we ask if Quarks and um, Acorn King was was the only one to respond. And oh uh, no 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 there was one other person but anyway uh, Acorn. Was Acorn Cake's question was, uh, welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> uh, oh, boy, you're putting me on the spot here. I, I ate a... I ate, I, <laughs> I ate a bowl of bowls. 
With no nails. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Shit, man. I, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I, I don't know what popped through in my head that, make me, that made me say that. I don't know. <laughs> A bull of bulls without any nails. That's hardcore. Oh, definitely. I, uh... I once uh, fucked a prostitute without any milk. <laughs> oh boy. Dang. Pretty manly. Ah. All right, and uh, do you want to take uh, Trogter's question? Oh. Uh, my my beautiful co-host. Oh. Why do kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch? It's great. You you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong <laughs> commercial, man. I know, that's the point. God damn it. It's just, it's just because it's Tony the Tiger. I know, right? You mean Lord Tony the Tiger? Yes. Oh, Lord Tony is a, quite the character. Now I'm just imagining Lord Tony, or no, Tony the Tiger going on an anti-brony rampage. Like, oh, like I can't, what would he say? Like, I don't want... You need to incorporate. Fuck brony, man, fuck ponies. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Because no matter what he's going to say, it's, it's great at the end. It's, yeah, it's, it's hard to think like a psychopath does when you're not one. Yeah, it it is. I I have to be honest. I don't know any either, so that makes it harder. Yeah. All right. So our last question is kind of controversial. Oh, oh a little bit, just <laughs> a teensy bit. <laughs> Uh, so, and I'm gonna add one after this as well. Oh, okay. So, oh, cool, cool. What are your thoughts on Mr. Man? <laughs> okay, well, uh, this I... one has a little bit of backstory, so... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so basically, in the furry thread, what happened was, like, people were constantly going off topic, and so the furries got together and decided, we need a Skype group. And then so they made a Skype group. And, uh... Off a of win... Face, uh, face bomb, like tricked me into joining a group that I didn't think was the free mega thread. Oh. So I just kind of sat there, and then I said something once, and I'll let you go on with the story. Uh, yeah, uh, he he Badger started uh, pretending he was Mister Man, <laughs> and he was oh, no. he was doing, because... saying all sorts of disgusting stuff. Oh my god, I was like almost puking. Like, because I help. think what happened is somebody said something, oh. and then I said, yeah, don't oppress that. And then Squirtle <laughs> said, are you Mr. Man? And I'm like, yeah, you got a problem with that? <laughs> and somehow I just, I had that as a joke, but somebody alerted it to me, and they're like, do they actually think this? Because I went back and you guys had, like, replied about it, and it's just like, really? So I kind of just rolled with it for a while, and I actually fooled you, made you leave the group. I actually thought he was Mr. Man, and I'm so disgusted, I just mm. had to leave. <laughs> and then I and then I asked to I asked someone to come back and Badger sent it into another Skype group and then because somebody I was invited me about it with my friend. <laughs> no, it was hilarious. And then they invited me to that Skype group and now I'm just sort yes. of floating they around didn't in have that the context group. that they thought you wanted to be added to that group. Yeah, and so now I'm just like floating around in that Skype group doing nothing. That's what we do with that Skype group, though. Yeah. All right. Lucky to nothing. Seems legit. Totes. Uh, speaking of sp Skype groups, God, fuck. What is happening? Uh, <laughs> speaking of Skype groups, <laughs> um, you guys know yeah. the the Nals uh, Skype clique. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, we asked him about that in his uh, his episode. He's he was giving some backstory. Like, what, what do you, what do you guys like? Do you think they're in the wrong about anything that's like drama about them? Or <sighs> what's... no, not really. I, I, okay. I don't know. Yeah, they I did. don't think so either. They did I... like gang up on Flatflyer for a bit, but yeah, really, yeah, I mean, they like, only that did that because pretty... he would he like lashed out at them way too easy, so it was sort of funny to them. Otherwise, they're pretty fine. All right. yeah, I, I don't mean, mind I them. I'm not really caught up with all the the now goddamn clique drama stuff, but uh, that yeah. press video. <laughs> I mean, they they've screwed up a couple times, but I mean, come on, who doesn't? 
Yeah, I think uh, I think Nell actually helped uh, Lando the Climber sabotage my server one time. Oh, so wow. I have a bad bias toward them. I mean, away from you, you know what I mean. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, other than that, Nell's a nice guy. I Lando's yeah, a faggot. Yeah, Nell's then, a good guy. Yeah. Uh, you know, as they're they're mostly fine. I like Getish. He's a he's a cool guy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, fun fun story. I actually made uh, now a little program a while back. Really? Yeah. Uh, it was called the A Now account counter. Oh, okay. I, I there, there was, was a running there was a running joke where people would would put an A in front of his name and make oh, it yeah. anal. <laughs> and I made him a little program <laughs> to count the number of times. And there was a little, the icon was a little butt. So, and like, you just click a button and it would increment the count. You're like, really simple stuff. But I think his counter's gone to like 600 or 700 now. It's absolutely ridiculous. You're right. Yeah. That was pretty underwhelming, wasn't it? <laughs> I guess so. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, the You Laugh, You Lose thread currently, because I, I, yeah. I posted that image, uh, Max's child. Did oh, you, Max's child. Did you see that? Uh, I'm looking at it now. <laughs> it's um, it's <laughs> he was discussing how uh he Max goes uh sorry I don't masturbate to drawings of Japanese girls in school uniforms, and uh, frequency posts right you masturbate to handbags sorry for the confusion, and so <laughs> I just post this image drawn by Kahutek. It's actually a Brockrand comic. Yeah, is <laughs> uh, Max's child. Here, I'll send you guys a link to it. All right, cool. Here, uh, the Who Tech is a, a very good man. Oh, he's a genius. Friend. He's such a genius. <laughs> I have so much respect for that guy. Have you seen his face packs? Yes, I actually have. Oh. I have it. I oh, have boy. the Zen of Brockrand. Brockrand face pack. <laughs> Can you stop with the eight-month-old joke that's being beaten to a pulp? <laughs> <laughs> It'll never get old. Max is... Oh, God. he uh, Max, I don't know about him anymore. I just don't care. He's not worth caring about anymore. No, he's not. He isn't, like, controversial or anything. Mm, he's, he's, he's just, just old a, shit. He's just a teenager, you know? He's going through his angst stage. He's he's going through those uh, puberties, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There seems to be a lot of formers like that. Only a few of them stick around, though. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, Watson made a comeback, apparently. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, the so guy who uh, played as Miss Terra, yeah. It was so I got obvious. so it's just cool like, hey, that. I'm a girl. It's just like, no. Do, okay, guys, do you, do you mind if I give... To, like, rub that around? It's like, nope. Yeah, well, do you guys mind if I give a bit of backstory about that whole fiasco? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, because, like, um, I had been talking to Miss Terra for, like, two weeks before that whole incident happened, and he had me completely fooled. Like, I thought, like, he, he played as two different people. And so, and they were married, and he gave me detailed sex stories. Oh. <laughs> so it was, like, it was <laughs> Mustang and Miss Terra. Yeah, and, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So I knew them for like two weeks, and then like uh, they, they, I, they had me fooled. I had no idea. Yeah. And I, I feel really stupid now, but like they were actually really nice people, or one person, I should say. They were nice. I liked them genuinely, and yeah. then I found out about this whole thing, and it was just fucking ruined. Like, why would you want to pose? Exactly. Yeah, but it's no points. Yeah. Like, like this person, I, I remember this, like, their backstory was, they got banned, like, four-something years ago. Like, nobody's gonna hold something you did four years ago against you, that's ridiculous. Actually, I made a Brockran comic about that a while oh, really? ago. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a comic representing, like, the, the old the old kids who would, uh, come back and apologize for some petty shit that they did yeah. a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. Like, they'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I said, like ass one time, like, two months ago. Like, uh, I'm sorry, you guys must hate me right now, are we okay? And everybody's like, well, we hate you now! Like, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. you didn't need to do that, you know, but... Here, I'll see if I can find it on the website, because I know I posted that. <laughs> Alright. I, I haven't checked the website in a long time, actually, because it... Mm, oh, yeah, here, here it is. I'll, I'll send you guys a link. But, um... Right. Like, it... 
nobody submits the comics, which I honestly, I, I'm kind of screwing with people on purpose here. Because I will say, if somebody will post the comic in the thread and they'll be like, hey, why isn't it on the website? And I'll be like, you didn't submit it to my email. And like, they will just get really mad and I have fun with it. Oh boy. Yeah, so uh, that's the truth of that unveil unveiled. Submit oh, your comics, oh. dumbasses. <laughs> if only I could draw. Yeah. I can, but I'm way too lazy. Same here. Like I, I've done, a, I've done a few drawings of like characters from Dark Souls or whatever. But like okay. other than that, like I'll, it'll be on off of reference. But I can't do anything from my head. Cause I think I've only done like a handful of comics. Yeah. The immediate one I could think of is like the Orca one. Well, you know the thing about these comics, though. I think I, I've said this in multiple episodes. I know, but I'm still going to say it. Um, the point of Brock Rand comics is not to be shitty. It's to have the Funny. freedom to be shitty. With yeah, your have comics. the freedom to be shitty. Just, oh, you man. can be horrible if you want to be. We will as not judge you for it. Like, yeah, some yeah, sense to good. it, it's fine. Right, but if you yeah. are just, like, if you're really good at drawing, and for, like, just use that talent, okay? Like, <laughs> We aren't asking for them on purpose, you know? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah, that, that's my spiel. Um, you guys want to say anything else about it, or do you think it's uh, about time? I'm, I'm good. What about you? I think I should be good. It's okay. like a good small discussion shortly. All right, All right well, that's about the uh, length of the average episode, so... Uh, All right. Yeah, I'll be editing in stupid shit around here. Cool. So, uh, Great. Yeah. Hey, great interview, guys. I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys right. later. Bye. Right, see ya.